Hey guys, welcome to another video for King of Hearts 3 and in this video we're gonna get all the collectibles in the Caribbean So this means we get all the treasure chests, lucky emblems and the classic kingdom games And I've listed the number of the collectibles are currently to the Gami phone menu So if you're just here to get the collectibles you've missed Search up the number in the description and click the timestamp next to it It will take you to the part of the video where you can find the collectible you're missing So that is it for the answer guys, now let's get into the video So guys, we're here at the first island where you go through in the game. And what we're going to do here is first go through this island and then use the save point at the end of this island to get to Port Royal. And then I'm going to go from Port Royal to the other islands and get all the collectibles along the way. So first, let's get the big chest right in front of us, what contains the map of this island. Nice. Yeah. So then we want to dive into this cave. And I defeated all the Heartless here, so we don't have to deal with them. So if you go into this sunken boat, there's going to be three chests right here. So get those chests, then move on. So right here, you can break these boxes right here. And at the end, there's going to be a chest. So you want to go here to the left. And there is a chest at the end here, which contains a rare material and then just move this path upwards and this is going to be a classic kingdom game and then go back and then go here down below And as you can see here, there is going to be a big chest right there. So now I'm going back to the safe points because uh, if you go any further, you can't go back and you have to go around the island to get to the ship. So you just want to use this safe point, it's much faster. So use this save point to get to Port Royal. So now we're here in Port Royal and on the boat on the right you can see that there's a lucky emblem on it. So jump on it, Let's see. take a picture and then jump back on the docks so you can pick up the big chest which contains the map so that's yeah. kind of handy to get that one. So from here I go to the left side. You see this box right here, you want to just break it because there is a lucky emblem here. So take a picture of that. And as you can see here on the left, there is also a chest. So grab that one. And then you want to jump up here, all this path up to the settlement. And in the settlement are going to be like two chests. So once you're here, you want to walk up this building and just follow this path right here. And behind these boxes is the chest. So again, walk up this building and use the focus to just go right there and here's the next chest
So now you want to go here to the exit where the safe point is. And jump up here and blow this thing is going to be a lucky emblem. And go here behind the bridge because there is a chest as well. So moving up here, there's a, the next lucky emblem, so take a picture of that one. And then just move at the end of the dock. Here by this ramp is going to be the chest. There is also a chest in the water, so if you jump up here in the water and just go straight down right here. You can see there is the next chest. And now you just want to go back to the docks. So take the left now. Um, by the bridge you want to go to the right. Kind of stuck there <laughs> by the rock. So you want to go underneath this waterfall and on the right is a chest. And there's another chest here in as well. And now you should double jump and flow motion jump to get over here. So follow this path and you will eventually get to the fort. So we want to go to the uh, prisoners and open up this chest. Nice. To get a classic kingdom game and in the other cell is going to be a lucky emblem here. Donald, get the fuck out of the way. So take a picture of that one and move up. Here's the Flan Heartless. This is like, aka the Putting Heartless for the mini games. And you want to jump up here, and the ropes will present a lucky emblem, and be sure not to drop off. So jump up here and there is the next chest. So those were all the chests and lucky emblems in Port Royal. So now you want to go back to the ship. And now we're going to go to the uh, other islands and the uh, waters. So now, when you're at the open sea, you want to go to that little rock thing on the right there. Oh, didn't we sail past that rock before? So you want to stop right here. And first, you want to jump up this mast right here of the ship. Because there is a chest on top of it, so grab this one. So now you want to jump on the uh, rock there, right here, because there is a chest here as well. So grab that one. Now let's go back into the ship. And go to every island. So what I'm going to do here is go here and just take a circle like that and collect everything along the way. So first, we're going to start with this island. So now we are here in this island. So first one you want to do is go to this cave right here. Because there is a big chest with the map for it. So that is kind of handy to get all the other chests in this island. So it's right here in the back. So grab this one.
So there is here a big chest here. Or a crate first on the beach. But you have to break it with a... What it's a uh, ground slam from the dive. So you want to walk up here and jump off. And break the crate and there is a big chest right there. So now you want to walk up the wall again and further into the island. So jump down here and you eventually get here where there are three chests. So next up is a lucky emblem, but you have to kind of dash towards it because it's like uh, beside this island, but I think it's like a little part of it anyway. So you want to jump down here and just keep dash dashing so you will reach it eventually. Or you have glide. If you have glide, use just use glide. It's way better. So you go here and jump on these rocks because those crates right there are going to form a lucky emblem. So take a picture of that. And now we're going to go back to the ship and go to the next island. So now we're going to go to this island. So now we're here on this island. There's only one big chest here. And after you open it, you have to fight Heartless. It's right here in the middle. So once you have completed the Heartless, go back to the ship and we're going to go to the next island. And then there's this one. You can skip the this one because it just has a save point on it. We're going to go to this island. So guys, now we're on this island and what you first want to do is go to the left side of here. And there are going to be three chests on this island as well as a lucky emblem so go here and go straight because on the wall in front of you you can climb up and there is going to be the first chest right here then go down here and Walk up the next wall. So when you're done that, go here and go to the left. There is a small chest right here. The next up is going to be a lucky emblem. So if you stand right here on the rocks and look into the ocean, you can see a Let's see. lucky emblem right over there so take a picture of that one and then go to the other side because you have to jump off and break a crate to get a chest so you want to jump off here and break it
Now go back to the ship and let's get into the next island. So now we're in this island and in this island is going to be a lucky emblem and for the rest it's nothing. So you want to jump off these rocks right here. And look this way because then the rocks line up a lucky emblem. So take a picture of that one and go back to the ship. And then we're going to go to this island. So getting to this island, there are going to be five chests on it. And there's also a lucky emblem, but it is not on the island. But it is neither really on the side of it. But we're going to get that after we get the chests. So now we're going to get the lucky emblem, so we want to go back to the ship again. So now you want to like sail a little bit to the side right there. You can only, you can already see it. So you just want to like stop right in front of it like this. And you should be able to take a picture if you just stand here. Let's see. So that's the lucky emblem. Now we're going to go to the next island. That is this one. So once we are here at this island, there's only one chest here, and it is going to be a very rare material. So you want to definitely go here. Grab the chest. Here in the middle. Now, go back to the ship again, and let's go to the next island. So getting to this island, there's a lucky emblem and there are going to be three chests. So the lucky emblem is coming up first, right over here. You can see it's already here. So take a picture of that. Uh, you want to dive here and go to the right here on this sunken ship. Because there is a big chest right here. So grab the map because it's a little handier to get across here. So now you want to go here and up and there are going to be two chests right here. First one is over here. Here you need to break this pole. So the platform will go down and then you have access to the other chest right here. And those are all the chests. And if you go up, you are back at the ship. So now let's go to the last island and get all the chests and lucky emblems. So now we are at the last island. And there are going to be two lucky chests of uh, lucky emblems here as well as all the remaining chests we have to find. And there's a lot of chests in here. You first want to get the map on top here because it makes it a lot easier to know where everything is. Now here you want to drop down left here. And go down below because there is a chest here. Now you want to just swim to the right side.
and go over here and go down below here is going to be a chest there are like three chests here there is another one and if you go up here a little bit there's a chest there as well And if you go further right here, on top of this rock, outside of the water, is also a chest. So now we're going to go on the uh, lands right there, with, uh, with the rock platforms. So jump down here in this water. And as you can see, you already see the lucky emblem right there. So take a picture of that. There's also one big lucky emblem here, as you can see. Take a picture of that. And now let's get the remaining chests. So right here, take this one first. There's going to be two... Right here by the lucky emblem. Now we want to go to the other section because there's a lot of chests here. This is going to be the last chest, and I can't seem to get the angle. So, guys, those were all the treasure chests, lucky emblems, and the classic kingdom games within the Caribbean. But that wraps up the video, and I thank you for watching. And if you do enjoy the video and found it helpful, don't forget to smash the like button. If you, if you want more gaming content like this one, then you can subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you don't miss anything. But guys, I wish you success with finding the collectibles, and I catch you guys next time.